it's a pill. I have it here that you swallow. It's uh, got two cameras in and a light, and it takes 50,000 images as it traverses from your mouth to the toilet. Patients need to take bowel preparation like they would for colonoscopy, so patients need to be fit to take bowel prep. The images are transmitted wirelessly from the capsule to a data recorder which the patient wears on their waist. And the data recorder is then returned wherever the test was done. The data recorder is docked, the images go up to the cloud and they're read by a specialist nurse and a consultant gastroenterologist. And the report comes back uh, normally about three to five days later after the test. There are lots of advantages of colon capsule endoscopy compared to colonoscopy. Firstly, it's painless. Patients don't feel the capsule as it tumbles through the gut. And secondly, the complication rate is really rare and certainly much less than colonoscopy. The other major advantage is that the capsule test can be done anywhere. So it could be done in hospital, it could be done at a community hospital, it could be done in a local general practice, and eventually it could be done in a patient's home. Even before the pandemic, there was a mismatch between demand, those patients needing lower GI investigations, and our capacity, our ability to do lower GI diagnostics. So we looked for new technology to fill that gap. We did a small technical feasibility study in the Highlands and then rolled that out to a much wider evaluation. In fact, it was one of the biggest evaluations of colon capsule endoscopy in the world. The pandemic intervened and the team quickly got together and started to roll out the service across health boards because traditional colonoscopy had been curtailed. So we've talked about the why, but now we're gonna talk about how, how we did it and where we can go next. So over to you guys.